Hey, what's up, Light Bolt Joe here. Today we are going to discuss the 2003 Disney feature film, The Haunted Mansion. This came out November 2003. I was in eighth grade, just started eighth grade. My brother was in sixth grade. Um, this was like Thanksgiving weekend. So this was like the Disney Thanksgiving film to watch over like that break from school. Um, my whole family went to see it. We absolutely loved it. I loved this movie for quite some time and it doesn't get enough credit as it as it deserves. I know there there's going to be a Ryan Gosling reboot of the film at some point. This film has some issues in it for certain Disney fans because it's called The Haunted Mansion. It takes place in Louisiana. It's about a haunted mansion, but it has a linear story parallel to Phantom Manor, which is in uh, Disneyland Paris, where there was a death, like a bride had died, and she's been haunting the manor. So certain parts of the story were Haunted Mansion, certain parts of the story were Phantom Manor, so it was kind of like mashed together. And I know a lot of Disney fans didn't like it, but when I was 13 years old, I didn't know the difference because I'd never been to a Disney park at that point. So like, I only had this movie to assimilate to, and my parents had been to, you know, Disney World for their anniversary way back in the 80s, and they went on the Haunted Mansion. So, like, I didn't have much to compare to. I loved it, and I still love it. I still love the practical effects. I love the makeup. I love the, the costume design. I love the set designs. The architecture is incredible. The, the story of how does Eddie Murphy's character's family, the Evers family, get to the mansion? And to throw in that the wife, Sarah, resembles the woman who died, Elizabeth, or Mr. Gracie, who owns the mansion, Gracie Manor, as he calls it quite a few times. Um, so there's that Phantom Manor throw-in versus Haunted Mansion, but Madame Leota is still like a main feature of that, named after Leota Toombs, who was an Imagineer who helped, you know, design the Haunted Mansion back in the day. So... It's a lot of throw-in stuff. Like, if you don't know Disney history, you're not going to really know that stuff. But this was a good movie given to us. This was a really great linear plot. The Evers family get to the mansion in order to sell it. Um, because Evers and Evers real estate, you know, happens to... The, the butler, Ramsley, he calls to have Sarah come for his insidious plots. But the whole family comes on their way to a vacation at the lake. And... They get thrown into the mix of the curse of the haunted mansion that, you know, everyone is trapped because Mr. Gracie's l lost love had killed herself at a ball, you know, prior to them running away to, to get married. But Ramsley didn't approve of this marriage, so he killed her and forged a letter. And then there's been a curse for hundreds of years. So in order to break the curse, Ramsley has to actually marry Elizabeth who looks exactly like Sarah, but Elizabeth's soul has been haunting the mansion, the manor, this entire time. So eventually the curse is broken. All the ghosts get to the light, go to their heaven, and the deed to the mansion is now with the Evers, and they can do with it as they please, sell it, live in it, do whatever makes you happy. That's what Mr. Gracie says. The hitchhiking ghosts were very briefly featured within the graveyard scene of this film. My beautiful hitchhiking ghosts. Ah, I can't roll my sleeves that much. Tattoo, Phineas, Ezra, and Gus were a part of it. Makeup as well. Um, you had the caretaker and his dog. But as ghosts, not as actual caretaker and dog. That was pretty interesting. You had, you know, your organ player. You had your bride in the attic. You had your various, you know, maids and butlers throughout. The wallpaper with the purple and the creepy, you know, black designs. All the little throws to it. What's really cool, too, is the um, dining room t chairs for the dining room scene. Again, parallel to the, the ride. But the chairs themselves were then put into the Disney parks, um, like, certain rides. So, like, in uh, Disneyland's Pirates of the Caribbean, the very last room you see is Jack Skellington on a chair. Not Jack Skellington. Jack Sparrow on a chair. Um, talking about treasure and counting his gold and stuff like that. He's sitting on a chair. That that chair is from this movie, Haunted Mansion. Other chairs were put into uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, et cetera, et cetera. So it's really cool finding all those little, like, factoids about 
trivia about, you know, where props are going where and where what was filmed when and, you know, how everything's correlated, things like that. When Ryan Gosling's Haunted Mansion comes into effect, I want there to be multiple movies because of the uh, Tales of the Haunted Mansion books that just came out. I only liked two of them. I didn't like all four of them. I thought they were a little wonky, but the caretaker, the keeper of the stories, Atticus, right? He shares that there's 999, you know, happy so happy haunts within the mansion and everybody has a story. So there's a lot of means of showing the interpersonal relationships of the ghosts that haunt the mansion. You don't need to have the human experience in the mansion unless you're looking for the stories kind of a thing, you know? Like the Evers going to the mansion for this particular story of the 2003's Disney's The Haunted Mansion made sense in a story perspective. But if you throw in the other stories of these other ghosts correlating and how everybody is still at the mansion and things like that, I think that'd be a pretty neat way to uh, bring a film series because Pirates of the Caribbean is a film series, right? Haunted Mansion can have the possibility of being a film series if it's done correctly. So here's to hoping. I'm a very large fan. I cannot wait. I know um, there's, a, there's a company that makes like candles that smell like certain rides from like the parks. So I had to order... Uh, I had to order some to see if they actually work. I'll use them as gifts, but I'm very excited. But uh, yeah, so Disney's Haunted Mansion, 2003 glorious film that it is. I really want some of those props. I want the key. I want I want zombie costumes. I want some candelabras. I want it all. And that random brush that Michael uses to brush his hair very randomly in one of the scenes. Hysterical. Good. Okay. Happy spooky season, one and all. Uh, grin, grin, grinning ghosts come out to socialize. <laughs> Which I'm a hollow.